Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Banjo Tooie. In the last episode, we made uh, not a lot of progress as much as I'd want to here in Grunty Industries. In this episode, we're going to hopefully start making actual progress. Okay, we have been making progress, but it feels like it's been slower than it should be. So, anyways, um, we're going to go to the first floor again. I'm going to try finding this uh, emergency exit once again. Because I really want to get that Jinjo out of the way. I really do. Because it's really annoying me right now. But I think I have an idea on where the first floor exit might be. Like, it's supposed to be. It's supposedly up by where the elevator is. Or not the elevator, but, uh, you know, where... Like up there, sort of, supposed to be. That's supposedly where it is, but I swear I've already checked up there. Um, but I think the only way to get up there is with Kazooie, right? I'm pretty sure. Or no, we can just grab the Claw Climber boots. Jeez, why do I keep on forgetting that? I have the Claw Climber ability. I keep on forgetting that I have that, and that there, there are boots, like, literally everywhere. So I don't know what I'm thinking, honestly, but apparently I'm not. I just must not be thinking at all, actually. That's just how it is. Okay, so it's not... It's not here. But maybe... It's up here, possibly? Okay. I mean, because I think that's... So dumb that I'm having so much trouble finding it, but I am! And it's driving me crazy, man. It really is. Okay, so it's not up there. Well, maybe it's in the workers' quarters. Like, otherwise, I have no idea where it's at. Like, I tried looking at the guidebook and it wouldn't help me at all. Like, it doesn't show me where anything is at all, actually. Is it up there? I have no idea at this point. Mind if I get boost from you, little guy? Look at the state of my overalls. I'll be in real trouble if I can't find a way of getting them clean. Yeah, I see that. Uh, how about we try service elevator? Or not the service elevator, the workers' quarters. Eesh. I can't read. Yeah, I just can't. How about that? We'll just say that I can't. Does that make you feel better? I'll just say that I can't. Then I'll, I'll make, it'll make all the haters happy if I say that I can't all the time, you know? Because that's what they would want is me to be, you know, negative and crap like that. Okay, so that's out of it. So let's try something else. Let's try going to the second floor and looking for that missing battery because I have a, another battery I happen to need in order to get to the quality at the quality control room. If I can't get to the quality control room, then I'm gonna make up for it by going to the uh, um, to the thing that's at the very top of uh, Grunty Industries that I unlocked in the previous episode. I mean, like, I guess another thing I could do is just go go straight to where um, the thing is. Like, just ignore the emergency exit and try using a di try a different route getting there with both characters. But I think that would just be a lot more annoying and frustrating than it should be. Because I can't even begin to, like, you know, map out a way of doing so in my head. So I'm just... Maybe I'm just being dumb here and just because I don't feel like doing it. But, you know, I could... I guess I could potentially do it a different way. So what was I going to do? I was going to go to floor 4, I think. Was I? I don't remember which floor I was planning on going to. Because we did one thing with Mumbo. And... Okay, so let's try floor 2 first. Because what we're doing right now is we are looking for that last battery. Because, because I do believe it is the last battery. I'm pretty sure it is. And I think it is on floor two. It should be. So we're about to find out if that is the case. Hi! -y. Is he trying to say hi ya? Is he like a, you know, trying to be all cool and stuff, being trying to be into karate or whatnot? Who knows? Down to floor one, eh? Huh. Well, I don't want that, actually. I don't want, I don't want to go down to floor one. What I need above all else is just another battery. It's not going to be in here, obviously. Okay. Let's try another exit. If I'll just stop getting lost here, that'd be good. Okay, I think it's down here, actually. Well, this is where one of the batteries was. No, it's not even it. I just went in a circle. Of course I did. That's just how it is. It's how 
This is what Grunty Industry is like. You just get lost all the time. Okay, and in here is something I already took care of. Okay. If I could stop getting lost, that'd be very, very nice. It would just be just the most excellent thing in the world, wouldn't it? That's not it. That's the that's back to that room, isn't it? The uh Okay, I think this is it. Well this will just take us to that. Yeah, here we go. This is somewhat what I was trying where I was trying to go to, yeah. But I, but I already got the battery, it's in there. So where's that other battery? Maybe it's on the third floor? Let's hope it is, because I'm heading straight up there right now. Wait, I just remembered. I think it, it, there is one, actually. Okay, well, here's a Globo. That's not what I'm thinking of, but still, this will have to do. Oh, kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. The game's lying to me, guys. I did get that jump, okay? Just just letting you know, the game lied to you. I did make that jump and I did get that Globo. Here it is. There's the battery, right there. Okay, let's separate Banjo-Kazooie so we can get that battery where it needs to be. Well, that makes me feel a little better about this episode already. The fact that I found the last battery. Okay, so we need to take this battery up to the fourth floor, right? we do because that is where the cable room is which is which really is to the quality quality control room so we go up here and we need to find mumbo's yeah I believe mumbo's skull is at the very end of this uh, mumbo's hut actually but you could call it mumbo's skull I guess but yeah it's at the end of this room oh actually in here it's actually important right here that is another way to the boiler plant as uh, your alternate form, but it's not necessarily our destination exactly. That's the service elevator, and that's not where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to get to Mumbo's... Oh my god. Maybe this will leave me there? I was literally right next to Mumbo's hut when I killed that battery. Oh my god. Well, I didn't kill the battery. I got the battery inside my back, but still, seriously, I was right there. I just went in a circle for nothing. That's what I'm talking about, guys. This is the Grunty Industries. This is what I'm talking about. Especially if someone stupid's playing it. Okay. Floor four. Let's keep, let's keep in mind where we're going. At all times, gotta keep in mind where we're going. Okay. So now, we got ourselves our battery. Now we can get to that cable room. And then I can stop going crazy all the time because of how ridiculous I'm performing in this world, as expected, honestly. I was hoping I'd be done by episode 40, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I really don't think it's gonna happen. Me being done with this episode, Done with Grunty Industries by episode 40, you're thinking of a different, of an alternate universe, my friends. Because that did not, that, that crap ain't gonna happen. But what is gonna happen this episode is us finally getting to the cable room. Access is now granted. Let's uh, wait for Kazooie, actually. Because we're gonna need Kazooie in order to get to that room, actually. So I'll meet you guys back up there as Kazooie. How about that? Save ourselves some time here. Okay, now we're in here as Kazooie. There's a shock jumping pad to get up there. And voila! That didn't take long at all, actually. Not as long as I predicted it would take. All right. So now we're in the cable room, and thus we are right next to where the quality assurance quality control room is, which is actually right over here. Be careful. Don't touch these cables. Even if there's no shocks running wrong, along them, you'll still get hit by them. This uh, switch, remember this for later, actually. Or it might not be important to you at all. Actually, it just depends on how you do in this next room. But here it is. Quality control, finally. There's a jiggy to be gone in this room. But you gotta be careful. So basically, you got these, uh, these, these barrels. These metal barrels running along the track here, the conveyor belt. You have to destroy only the rareware one. 
If you destroy any of the other barrels, you will find yourselves in a load of trouble, possibly dying before you get a chance to leave this room. Because inside those barrels is very toxic waste. And every time you hit a rareware barrel, it increases the frequency of the barrels and increases the speed of the conveyor belt to make it more difficult. So there you go. So you really got to get your timing down on this one in order, to, in order to succeed at it. And you will have to start over if you mess up even once. Come on, seriously? Dude, seriously? <sighs> really nice if I could get this this time. There we go, okay. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. But it's also where it starts to get really difficult to not hit those other barrels. <sighs> A little too early there. There we go, okay. They've got to hit two more times, actually. Okay. Yep, last time. I did it! Oh, I gotta do it one more time. Okay, alright. <laughs> oh my god, seriously? Oh my god. Okay, as soon as this happens, get out of the room immediately. Because you're gonna lose air really fast, and then you're gonna start losing your health fast. So you gotta get out of there immediately. And that is where the switch comes in, that's out here. Press that if you fail inside the room, and that will reset the gases. And also, unfortunately, you have to redo this room, as you can see there. Four, three, two, one. It is now safe to re-enter. Gas just mysteriously disappears. Okay, let's try that again. We won't hit hit one of the cables on the way in. Jeez. Oh no, never mind. You don't have to start over. Okay. Still, it is very annoying whenever you do have to exit the room and then you know fix the air and then re-enter. It's annoying. Yes, did it. All right. However, that jiggy. You cannot get until you're in your alternate form. But, it's a good thing we waited until, you know... It's a good thing we took care of this mission before being in our alternate form, because honestly, I forgot also that you would have to complete this mission before getting into your alternate form in order to get the Jiggy. But yeah, it's really hard to avoid getting hit in here, honestly. Okay, is that it? I think that's pretty much it for this room, actually. Okay, so I think uh, next thing I need to do is actually uh, take on what's in this room. So I think we're going to do it. Yep, we're going to do it. Okay, guys, it is time for what I consider to be the worst mission in all of Grunty Industries. Not in the game, but it's up there. It's definitely up there. So we're going to head up, head on up to the sewer access. Okay, we've only got one minute here, but you know what? We're going to just probably just go into... Uh, extra overtime in this episode because I'm perfectly fine with that. Because I'm willing to bet it is going to take me quite a few tries to get this get this right. But here we go. Into the sewer access we go. Not that Banjo and Kazooie are, are probably very happy about going into, but whatever. We have ourselves the first person area of Grunty Industries. It is the hardest one in the game. I think it's also the last one too it is actually. This is the last first-person area of the game, and it's the hardest one yet. Okay, actually, no, it's not quite. Uh, if you count, if you do count one thing towards the end of the game, I won't spoil it. Um, you don't need to have any eggs, particular eggs. Just uh, regular eggs will do. But obviously, since we have Dragon and Zooey, we're going to use fire eggs since we have unlimited of those. I'm going to switch to those first. Okay, so here we go. Now let's see our scenario this time. Attention, the clinkers have invaded the sewer system and are blocking the vents. Neutralize them all before the air becomes toxic. This, my friends, is the clinkers cavern. Not clinkers cavern, clinkers cavern. And oh boy, you are going to miss clinkers cavern when you see what you have to deal with here. Because let me tell you something, this mission is shit. Literally shit. So basically, 
scattered throughout this room, or this, yeah, the sewers here, are these vents that are covered by the twin, the, the clinkers, which are basically literal shit. Blobs of shit that you have to destroy in order to prevent the air from, from becoming toxic in here because it will after 200 seconds. You only get 200 seconds to destroy 20 of these. And the, and the reason why this one's so hard is because it's really hard, or really difficult, I should say, to know where all these are. There, this room is, this place is so massive and, well, probably gonna die anyway, so it won't matter. Because I mean, wasting carols here is a problem. Because, yeah. Yeah, so. So even after you run out of time, however, you can you still have a chance to win this. You can still, uh, if you can destroy all of them before you die, then you still win. I mean, so, technically I haven't lost quite yet, but I will as soon as I, lo as soon as I die here. And I'm pretty sure I will, because I don't have, yeah. I don't even have full health, so I'm pretty much screwed at this point. But all things considered, I did get down to three of them, despite the fact that I was messing around. So maybe I, maybe I can get this, but I don't know. <laughs> Alright, sensors still indicate clinker presence. Cleanup bonus will be withheld until they have been neutralized. So for some reason, the despite the fact that they are still there, the air kind of cleans itself up anyway, so you can go back in and redo it. So yeah, it's just it makes as little sense as the you know dynamite inside a, a glitter gulch mine. Okay, so let's try and do this the right way, the way that I remember doing it actually. Okay, right there, and one right above me here. Uh, hello, go back to the, there we go. Urgh. Stupid tool things. Yeah, those enemies are tools. That's what they are, okay? It's just that's all they are. They're just, just a bunch of tools. Okay. So yeah, let's just go let's just keep going right to start off here. I think actually the ones I just I just got are actually the ones I missed in the previous run, actually. Don't quote me on that though. Okay, let's try going. This, yeah, here we go. That's another one you can easily miss if you're not careful. Let's pick up all the heals along the way, too. Why not? Okay, there's one directly above me. I know that. Alright, we got this. We got this. We got this. I know we can get on this try if I, if I just keep on working towards it. Okay. Just keep going right, keep going right, and eventually go back to center, I guess. That. Okay. Okay, well, I've already gone a circle. That's not good. Okay. Oh, geez. We'll just keep going right. Next to me here. Okay. okay there's that. Is there any more in this room? Uh, let's just keep going right. Again. Come on, Tintaps. I got no time for your antics. Seriously. Burn alive! It's alive and burning! Okay. Okay, is there one in here? No, I already went in there. Oh, shoot, I think I missed, messed it up again. I'm pretty sure I messed it up again. I think. Oh, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I might still be fine. I don't know. Just got five left. Okay, there's one right there. Okay, not up here. We might still have this. We might still have it. Oh, man. Okay, I know of one particular set that I'm missing. Okay, actually. There you are. There you are, you stinker. Stinkler. Yeah, they're not the they're not the clinkers, they're the stink stinkers. Okay, I think I got this. I think I just got this. The last one's up here, isn't it? Yes it is! Alright, so 22 seconds to spare, I got it. Sensors indicate clinker threat has been neutralized. A cleanup bonus will be awarded. Alright. Can't believe I did that on the second try, man. Jeez.
But yeah, this is hard. Don't uh, underestimate the twin, the kink, the, the clinkers. Jeez, because this is actually hard. It's also a pretty good uh, multiplayer stage too, because it is one of those actually. Every first person uh, section you see in this game so far is actually one of the multiplayer stages that I will be showing off with uh, some friends of mine in the Night We Play channel in the future when we get around to doing more multiplayer madnesses, just to let you guys know. Oh, also, I guess I should point this out while I'm making my way back to the entrance to this area. Um, I have an Amazon page now where if you want to purchase anything I use in these videos, any of the video games I've LP'd or planned LP or any of the, you know, my capture cards or mics that I've used either in the past or up till now, you can find them on that page just by following the link in the description that's now there. It just says my Amazon page and you can, you can purchase those items there. Um, the reason why I have this Amazon page is that if you guys want to, if you actually purchase something through there, I can get, um, it's possible, it's not guaranteed, but it's possible that I can get, uh, um, a little bit of financial compensation whenever someone purchases something to that page. It's not, it's not actually me sending the, the items to you, just letting you know, though. Anyways, uh, yeah, thank you so, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, that's the Clinker's Cavern done. Uh, next time, we are going to hopefully finish off, uh, Grunty Industries, but let's keep our fingers crossed here. So, see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.